My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks, and I'm a reseller. So I wanted to just do a little thing to introduce myself. I've gotten a lot of different emails on, you know, who are you? How do you sell? What do you sell? Where do you sell on? Uh, how old are you? A lot of random questions coming from you guys. So I just wanted to introduce myself and get everything out there. My name is Glenn. Like I said, I live in the great state of Texas. I am 29 years old. And I have had young hustler blood in me for a long time. I think when I was like 12, 13 years old, I used to go to the pawn shops and try to like sell my stuff back to them and like old toys or video games and stuff. And I wasn't even old enough, you know, they'd ask me for my ID and stuff. And they're like, what are you doing here, kid? You know, a lot of kids don't come in here trying to sell stuff. And eventually I started collecting like sports cards Obviously from Jersey Finds, I'm a huge sports fan. So NBA in the 90s was like a huge thing for me. And later on, I started getting like doubles and triples of cards. And at my parents' business, I asked my mom if I could sell cards, even though I had nothing to do with their business. And she said, yes. Yeah. So I put out my sports cards out there. And some people did buy a certain amount of cards, but not a lot. But I just wanted to do something to sell and make money somehow and my cousin introduced me to ebay and i didn't really know what it was but i used to start like i was buying cards on ebay and that's when you had to like send a money order in to get the things you wanted so the process was totally different back then there was no paypal there's none of that i would just send in the money order and wait until i got my cards or whatever else i bought and eventually I moved on to just start selling my own cards and little things here and there on eBay. And I think I was maybe like 16 at the time when I was doing it. And eventually out of high school, I started selling custom McFarlane figures. Um, here's one of them here. So this is one of the figures that I made. It's a Ronald Curry figure from the Raiders. He wasn't really one of the most popular players, but he did make this like sick one hand catch against the Broncos. So I wanted to recreate that scene. It's like a Randy Moss figure that I use. I repainted it, redid like numbers and logos and stuff. It ended up selling on eBay for 100 and I think 40 bucks. So it was kind of like my first real taste of what I could do with these little figures. And I had, you know, like snow on them and stuff like that. And his agent ended up buying the figure, which was pretty cool as well. So I really wanted to do these things and make these custom figures and sell them on eBay. And it was just a really, really cool experience. So I liked just having to be able to do my own thing. My, like, I got to do art stuff and kind of create this you know, these figures and everything, and I, I was making money from them. I think the lowest I was making was like 50 bucks each. I was buying these figures for, you know, like $7.99, $8.99. And I told my parents, you know what? I don't want to go to school anymore. I just want to sell on eBay. And I also want to just make these custom figures and do a little bit of both. And they're like, no, you better go to school. So I went to school. I did the whole graphic design thing. And once I graduated, I started working full time as a graphic designer, but I was also going to garage sales on the side, thrift stores, etc. And I started making more money doing that than I was at my full time job. And I loved it. I still love it. And eventually I just quit that job because it was wearing and tearing me down. And I knew I could make money doing other things. So now graphic design is my full-time job pretty much because I work with my family business. We're called Badgeworks Plus. So I do graphic design most of the time. Hustling and eBay and all that stuff is part-time, but I have a lot more flexibility in doing that. I don't work on Mondays. I don't work on certain days and kind of like flex my hours. One of my friends asked me, well, what if your parents' business wasn't there? If it wasn't there, I would be going eBay and Amazon full time. So I took a pay cut to work with my parents, but I also got to focus more on Amazon and eBay. So now I get the best of all of those worlds combined. So what do I sell? Jerseys, shoes, video games. Those are the things I focus on the most. I will sell like clothing here and there, other things I've kind of explored. But eBay and Amazon have done very good for me. I eventually want to branch out and do my own website. 
So my next video, I'll tell you more about my graphic design side.